So by now, you've probably heard the announcements from AMD with regards to their brand new Ryzen Strix Point CPUs. Uh, in fact, AMD designed a brand new architecture to take on the competition, so we can expect a lot of interesting designs coming up the horizon very soon. In fact, I've got one sitting right over here that was sent to me from ASUS, and I've taken a look at some pressing materials, and it's probably one of the coolest looking thin and light laptops with an AMD CPU that I've seen in a while. So let's quickly unbox it. So this is the ASUS ZenBook S16, a 16 inch thin and light laptop that will complete the ZenBook S lineup alongside the existing ZenBook S13 and the upcoming ZenBook S14 with Intel's upcoming Lunar Lake CPUs. Unfortunately, I can't talk a lot about that laptop because of strict Intel embargoes, but I can certainly share a lot of information on its bigger brother, the S16. So we're excited to partner with ASUS to give you a quick preview of what you can expect with this brand new 16 inch productivity powerhouse. Now there are three main factors that encompass the S16, portability, performance, and some really great quality of life improvements. Let's start with portability. So the S16 is incredibly thin, measuring around 0.6 inches, and it weighs approximately 3.3 uh, pounds. Now to achieve this, ASUS designed a unibody profile crafted from CNC milled aluminum. Uh, the top lid receives some special attention this time, so ASUS, uh, they call it aluminum. Basically, it's a combination of ceramic and aluminum. So in other words, there's a special process that ASUS does to transform the top layer of aluminum material into a ceramic finish. Ultimately, it's supposed to resist fingerprints and scratches. You also get the signature monogram logo, which is you know, classic ZenBook staple. And this thing comes in two colors. Uh, so there is dark gray, which is the one that I have over here. And you also get it in uh, a white variant as well. Now to achieve this thin profile by packing in the latest Ryzen Strix Point CPUs from AMD, ASUS had to design a super thin vapor chamber cooling system to keep temperatures in check. They've also added a very thin layer of graphene sheet right underneath the keyboard to efficiently dissipate the heat. And we're not sure how this will perform under sustained heavy multi-core workloads yet, but you know we'll have to share all the performance metrics later in our full review when we get our hands on a retail unit because this is a very early engineering sample. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, you also get uh, this geometric grill design that they call uh, right above the keyboard, which isn't to be confused with the built-in speakers, but it's actually meant to improve airflow and also prevent dust and small splashes from entering. So with this brand new thin vapor chamber cooling system, the S16 can actually push power levels for these new CPUs for up to 28 watts. That's actually not too bad, but I am curious to test out the performance of uh, the 12 core 24 thread layout. But unfortunately, I do have some bad news for those who embrace upgrade abilities. So for those of you who want access to RAM modules, well, from what I heard, AMD Strix Point CPUs officially don't support SODIMM slots, which is a really tough pill to swallow. So we're gonna start to see a lot of these Strix Point laptops with onboard memory. And as much as I'm not a huge fan of that, um, it's more of an AMD call and, you know, that's, that's not really cool, but uh, yeah. At least you do have the ability to upgrade the SSD, so that's a little bit of good news. Now, if you take a look at the interior space, you do get a standard size keyboard, which is also backlit with white LEDs. The key travel feels very similar to the older ZenBook laptops. It's not quite as pronounced as the Zephyrus lineup, but still offers plenty of travel distance and good feedback. Interestingly, this power button is integrated with the function row, which we'll get some time getting used to. This trackpad is massive. I've spent a few days playing around with this thing and it's actually really smooth because ASUS is using precision glass. The feedback from the integrated left and right buttons, you know, they feel solid. And I think they've certainly improved the texture and the responsiveness compared to previous generation ZenBook laptops. But ASUS, being ASUS, decided to add a few extra features to this brand new trackpad. They're calling it smart gestures, but basically you can use the left, top, and right edges to control the volume fast forward through a YouTube video or any media player and adjust the display's brightness levels. The volume and brightness controls are pretty intuitive and work pretty well, but the media playback stuff is a bit finicky from what I've been playing around with. Again, this is an early engineering sample, so they probably need some fine tuning uh, for the retail units, but I think it's pretty cool. Now, in terms of ports, this laptop offers a generous amount of inputs considering its thin profile. So on the left-hand side, you get HDMI 2.1, 
two USB 4 ports, uh, which can push up to 40 gigabits per second, one of which will be taken up by the power adapter because it uses USB-C, and you get an audio jack. Uh, switching over to the right side, you get a full-size USB Type-A port, which is 3.2 Gen 2, and a full-size UHS-2 card reader, which is a great incentive for content creators or uh, even photographers. Now, you'll also notice uh, two small speaker grills on the left and right edges, uh, which actually houses a total of six speakers for a pretty good audio experience. And considering this is a thin laptop, you might be wondering about the battery size. And uh, I think they've done it pretty well by packing it with a 78 watt hour battery. And supposedly that paired with the uh, Strix Points power efficiency should get us pretty good battery life. Again, that needs to be validated in the full performance review, so stay tuned for that. And the last thing to cover here is the display. So uh, this thing features a 16 inch 3K 120 Hertz OLED display, uh, and it also features touch support. So that is a really nice addition uh, for this laptop. Seriously, I think for an AMD laptop that to a thin light 16 inch uh, device, uh, it's a pretty interesting setup. In terms of peak SDR brightness levels, this thing is supposed to hit maybe 400 to 450 nits, which is to be expected for an OLED panel. But yeah, that's the ASUS ZenBook S16. Uh, price point for this thing is expected to start from $1399 to $1599 based on the memory and storage configurations. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, the ASUS ZenBook S16. Definitely stay tuned for a full review. I'm really interested to I test out the performance of these new Strix Point CPUs. Uh, it's certainly uh, a very unique uh, setup. And uh, yeah, the battery life is definitely something that I'm super curious about. So definitely stay tuned. We've got lots of uh, laptop content coming up your way. I'm Ibro with Hardware Canucks. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.